Hey everybody, I was just looking at the new Studio One update version 4 and they're making some big claims about their sampler and sampling is something that I've always been really interested in and have written a lot about and done a lot with and actually some of the samples that I've created we did a big project with a bunch of my students at the university and it is still in version 4 but it's the vintage keys which are now considered legacy in Studio One and you can still download them, but versions one through three had a, a group of vintage synths that I was the project manager for pre Sonos to create for Studio One. So check that out if you have a version of it. But those are some things that I did with a bunch of my students at the university. And so I was just thinking of a couple things with Alchemy because I consider Alchemy on the verge of being one of the best samplers ever. It's not yet, I mean, it's maybe just not what a potentially the best sampler could be, but it's actually pretty far along and it can do some really cool things. But I was just going through my checklist of all the things that I think a sampler should be able to do. And I actually ran into a little wall that I want to show you and explain how to get around it inside Logic because Logic as an ecosystem is great for sampling overall. But as you're going to see here, there is one little quirk. Now, to start a sampled instrument, you need an audio file and you need a sampler. Some of them you can actually record directly into, etc. But in this case, we're going to use just this little drum loop here. And I want to get this into Alchemy. Now, this is the part that was the most frustrating because a good sampler is going to let you drag and drop into the interface from wherever. And that's one thing we can't do straight from our, our main window into Alchemy. You can see it just goes behind it there. Now let's actually just following this through, let's go into the actual place where we create our zones and groups. Same thing. I've got no ability to drag and drop from out here in one of my tracks. And that is actually one of the things that drives me the most crazy because that should be one of those very simple things. But here's what you can do. If you make a selection and you have your media, your browser open over here with your project, anytime you select a file, it's going to show it over here, the selection. And from our browser, I can drag that onto Alchemy. It gives me this dialog here because we still need to choose the analysis mode. Let's just do sampler. And let's do import. So that's a whole extra step to go over here to the browser and then another step to choose what kind of analysis. But after that, we have it all in here and then we have all of the tools we want. We can do the crossfading. We can assign the key. We can do all of our normal sampling down here with the zones, with the loop mode and all of the different parameters for that. We even have the ability to adjust a lot of this graphically. And so now we're in the typical sampling mode, which is exactly where we wanted to be. But that first step of getting that in, we had to add a couple steps. And so if you're doing this in bulk, well, you're going to run into a little bit more trickiness with this more so than even with the EXS 24 or the new sampler in studio one. All of that, those actually do this one step easier. But once we get it in here, I think that we're all on pretty much a level playing field, if not a little bit better with the analysis modes and the other tools inside Alchemy. Okay, I just want to show that tonight. Hope this little look at this one feature helped you understand a little bit more about the ecosystem inside logic and sampling. And I want to do more about this sampling thing in the future. So stay tuned.